Hey guys, it's Sherry Vegas and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another artist talk and I've got an amazing, talented Brisbane based artist with me today. And we're going to be learning how to create our own Christmas baubles using alcohol inks to decorate them. So I'll let you introduce yourself. <laughs> Thanks. I'm Cassie from Art by Aquarius. Um, so you can find me on Instagram. So it's underscore Art by Aquarius. And I'm a fluid based artist. So I work in alcohol, inks and resin. Yeah, perfect. So we're going to be learning how to make one of these beautiful Christmas decorations today. And uh, Cassie's going to be explaining a little bit about the alcohol ink process and how you can create one of these. So let's get started. Great. So what are the items that we're going to need today? Yeah, so obviously we're going to be needing our baubles. So this is just a ceramic bauble that comes from um, Spotlight, which is an Australian yeah. um, <coughs> arts store. And craft store. Me. Yeah, arts and crafts store, haberdashery. You can use anything that's non-porous. So you can use glass um, or this one's a matte finish um, or non-glazed one, but you can use a glazed bauble as well. I've also mm -hmm. seen people use the glass baubles. Yeah. So yeah, that would be like a good option as well if you yeah, can get hold of one of those. Definitely. So the, um, the glass ones, the ink is transparent, so it'll just come out sort of a bit like a stained glass window. Oh, which would be very pretty. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, and we need our ink colours. So I've got a couple of different types of ink. So one by um, Pinata and another one by um, Copic. Um, so they're my two favourites to use. Um, and then we need some isopropyl. So um, it's just um, as um, high a um, percentage isopropyl as you can find. So this one comes from the hardware store. Yeah, but you can it's get 100 it from, proof. Yeah. Yeah. So you can get it from the chemist or other places like that too. Um, so, oops, that's basically what we need. <laughs> Perfect. Probably should also explain why my arm is in this lovely sling at the moment, just in case everyone's wondering. I dislocated my shoulder during Krav Maga um, and I have to have it in a sling for a little bit. So if you already follow me on Instagram, you would already know the story. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just Sherry Vegas. But yeah, so I will have this up in a sling for probably the next few videos that I do. So it's a little bit hard, but it's luckily that I've got you here today. <laughs> Um, to do the whole demo and show everyone because it's not going to be working out with me. Yeah, I'm a physio by trade, so I'll give you some physio later. <laughs> See, winning. I'm just, today is winning. Okay, so let's get started. Cool. So, to begin with, I like to put down a um, little bit of the isopropyl, so I just kind of run it along the middle if we're doing one that's similar to that one that we pictured. And then I like to start and um, build the colors with lightest through to darkest. You can go the other way if you like, but that's just the way that I like to do it. So you kind of keep moving um, because it's quite fluid. So you want to keep moving the ink so that it doesn't kind of puddle or run downwards um, to keep it that horizontal look. So just keep moving it until it dries. You can give a little blow on it if you want to, just to try and speed that up. Some people like to use a straw. I just blow just out of my mouth gently. I've also seen people get the little cans of air and, mm -hmm. and use that as yeah, well. Yeah, definitely. People go all out and get air compressors and all <laughs> sorts of fancy things. But when you're starting off, you can just literally start with a straw um, and then you can go from there depending on what kind of look that you like with your alcohol inks. So um, I'm going to pop a little bit of the darker purple on now. And safety wise, would you just always say like well ventilated area? Definitely. So well ventilated area, you can wear, um, they, it can get a little bit fumy. Um, so especially if you're doing the alcohol inks indoors, um, so inside your house. Um, so you can um, wear a ventilator or a mask if you um, prefer just to be that extra little bit of um, safety precaution. Yeah. yeah. It's looking so. beautiful already. Yeah, I know. It's so pretty just watching it. You could do it all day. Mm -hmm. So this has been like one of your most popular workshops at the moment? Definitely. And given that it's Christmas is coming, it's been really um, fun seeing what everybody creates and um, gets into that Christmas spirit. And you do your workshops at the Workshop Hub in Manly? I do, yeah. yeah. So I run them um, there and I run um, so the bauble one and also an abstract ink one. Um, so. Yes, and I've seen them and they're always super popular and they get booked out very fast. They do, they do. And it's a lot of fun. 
And it's great because you don't necessarily need to have uh, the skill set because you get beginner level. Exactly. Yep. So it doesn't have to look like anything. The reason why I actually got into fluid art is because, um, you know, I wanted uh, my jobs quite um, organized. Um, so my day jobs are physio. Um, and I just like that you can um, do this and kind of just pick your colors and then just let it flow and see what happens. So um, you don't need to have any um, art skill. Just kind of pick your colors and watch what happens. Mm. So that's um, kind of like a good base for our colors. The next thing we want to do is add a little bit of metallic ink. So um, the metallic inks are a little bit different than the colors. They are um, a bit thicker and they kind of work a little bit differently, um, but they're really pretty and they add an extra bit of sparkle, especially on our Christmas decorations. So we're just going to apply that the same kind of way, but you will need to use just a smidge more um, and kind of let it run around in the same way, but just to make sure that you've got gold all the way around so it's really pretty and shiny. Yeah, well, you can't really have a Christmas ball ball without some sort of metallic. Definitely, it's like glitter. You can never have too much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and also it's great because the metallics come in so many shades now of like, you know, the bronze, the coppers, the golds, the silvers, like, yeah. so whatever kind of your color palette is, you can create something. Exactly. Um, the, I really like the, this is the pinata gold, but I really like the brass one as well. It, um, it's sort of just that slightly um, more antique gold, mm. um, but it works really well and it sort of leafs up the same way as well. So that's what that's looking like. Now, if people wanted to wisp it out a little bit more, um, then you can just add a little bit of extra alcohol um, along the edges and then just blow gently. So I might show you that. Yeah. Okie dokie. So if we want to um, wisp out our edges, I just like to put a little bit of alcohol, not on the ink, but just beside it and kind of let it run down a little bit and then pull it back gently and just gently blow. So you're getting that color kind of moving out and softening some of the white space. And it's as easy as that. Oh, that looks so beautiful. Yeah. And you can keep working all the rest of the way around so it's kind of all evened out. And there's all kinds of pretty shades of pink that's coming out of that purple too. So you could even just do it with one colour and see what came out of it. Okay, so if you want to tidy up a few edges um, just to make it a little bit neater just get a cotton tip and put some alcohol on it and you can kind of just rub and kind of blend them in so that they um, look the way that you want them to oh yeah so if you get any like little accidents you can kind of just take it straight off totally it's very forgiving form of artwork so you just keep blending it until you're happy with it and you kind of like that natural look anyway so that's done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so after you are happy with how your artwork, your mm -hmm. Christmas bauble is looking, yep. what is your next step? So the next step is to spray a sealer on it. So um, you can just pick one up from um, either the art and craft store or um, the hardware store. There are a few brands that do work better than others because some will reactivate the ink. So this one by British Paints is from Bunnings and it seems to work really well, but otherwise the Kmart varnish is the one that I would recommend. Yeah, and you just wear your mask when you do it? Definitely. So um, when you, I definitely recommend spraying it outside um, and you can just wear your mask again. So if you feel like, um, if you're still wearing it from doing your artwork, um, happy days pop outside and spray your artwork to seal it all in and make sure it's all protected if you do have any accidents and you need to clean anything up um, I just give it a bit of a spray um, with your isopropyl again and wipe it with a baby wipe or a paper towel yeah and once you've sprayed it with varnish how long does it roughly take till you can hang it up on your tree oh you could hang it up the same day oh yeah, perfect so, so it sets really fast it sets really fast um, and then when you're ready to pack it away at the end of Christmas then you just wrap it up in some tissue paper and it'll be good to go for years and years oh, perfect <laughs> well thank you so much for coming on and showing us your specialty skill with alcohol inks and I feel like this is just absolutely stunning it is so beautiful um, please let us know in the comments below if this is something that you're going to give a test out for Christmas time and it's such a super fun craft hobby and once again let everyone know where they can find you yeah, so you can find me on Instagram so it's underscore art by Aquarius and I'm on Facebook as just art by Aquarius as well or otherwise you can find me at one of my workshops in uh, Manly 
cool. So if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up as it really does help me out. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe because I love to post up more art and DIY projects all the time. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks.